shrimp and grits, fluffy eggs, and pretty salmon patties. Hey everybody, thanks for joining me on another episode of Cutting Up With Bay. So today we're gonna make one of my favorite brunches. Now we made this a couple months back and I told you guys that I would make this recipe with the skinless, boneless salmon instead of the traditional salmon in the can. So come in the kitchen with me so I can make this bomb ass brunch. So this entire meal is actually super easy to make. We're going to start off with cutting up some onion. We're also going to cut up some bell pepper. Once I'm done with these, I'm going to sit them aside. Now the salmon, traditionally the salmon in the can, it comes with the bones and a little spine and the skin. But this canned salmon, it's a little more expensive, but it's definitely worth it. It reminds me of like tuna in a can, but buying it like this will save a lot of time and a lot of effort. So I used about four cans of salmon. I'm gonna throw in my onion. I'm gonna throw in the bell pepper. And you definitely wanna season this mixture as well. You can use salt and pepper. You can use any type of seasoning combination you like, or you can use my Chef Bay seasoning. And the details for that is down in the lower left-hand corner. So we're gonna add our breadcrumb. We're also gonna add our eggs as well. And we're gonna mix everything up. Now you can definitely double this recipe or if you're out of certain ingredients like bell pepper or if you're out of the onion, you can still go ahead and make it without those. But I personally love adding in those little things to make it delicious and make it different. So we're gonna make some of my favorite grits and these are stone ground grits. You can find them in just about any grocery store and if you can't find them or if you don't like them, you're definitely welcome to use regular instant grits grits so now I'm going to soak these grits just for a few minutes and all I'm doing is pouring the grits into a bowl of water the ones that sink to the bottom are the ones I want to cook and the ones that stay floating at the top I want to pour out so once I've done that process, I'm gonna pour these grits into my pan. I'm gonna cook them for about 10 or 15 minutes till they get nice and thick. Now I'm gonna throw in some butter, some salt, and some pepper. Now it's time to fry up our salmon patties. I need you guys to do me a favor. Go in the comments below and let me know, do you call them salmon patties or do you call them salmon croquettes? I'm from up north in the Midwest region and I grew up calling them salmon croquettes, but people around me call them salmon patties. So I don't know if it's a regional thing or if it's just a preference, but either way, they good as hell, okay? <laughs> So now we let these cook until they're golden brown. I have the heat on medium low heat and I'm cooking them until they reach this beautiful golden melanin color. So now we're gonna take them out of the grease. We're gonna sit them on some paper towels, let the oil kind of blot out. And now we're gonna prepare our shrimp for our shrimp and grits. Now you guys know I love me some shrimp. I've seen ugly shrimp and I've seen some pretty shrimp. And these shrimp actually look really good as far as the tiger stripes on them, as far as just the texture, the size. These are like the perfect ideal shrimp for me. Now I hit these shrimp with just a little bit of Chef Bay seafood seasoning. The good thing about my seasonings, they are not overly salty. So you can use them and you can actually taste the real flavors and not you know just be salted out so thank you so much for all of you guys that support me and who's tried my products and who's given nothing but great feedback and for the ones who haven't tried it definitely go check it out I love to get your feedback as well so now that our shrimp is basically done we're gonna move on to our eggs I know you guys are probably tired of me cooking eggs, but I get a million and one DMs, a million and one emails, and a million and one posts asking me how do I make my eggs. So I'm showing you guys how easy it is and how quick it is. Now, if I could give two or three major tips on the perfect eggs, it would be to watch your heat. That's tip number one. Tip number two is know when to take the eggs off the stove. So cook your eggs on medium low heat. 
Then once you cook your eggs for about two, maybe three minutes max, take them off the heat and put it on a cool side of the stove. But make sure you kind of stir them and make sure that they're not sticking. Okay, y'all, so this is where the magic happens. We're gonna grab some grits. We're going to lay those vertical or up and down our plate. We're gonna take our eggs and we're gonna lay them horizontal or going across our plate. We're gonna lay our salmon patties down. We're gonna add a little cheese onto them eggs and the grits. We're gonna stack our shrimp up and then we're going to sprinkle a little curly, fresh parsley on top. If you don't have fresh parsley, you can definitely use the parsley that you have in your cabinets. And voila, we have some fluffy, delicious cheese eggs. We have a little side of shrimp and grits, and we have some beautiful salmon patties or salmon croquettes. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe because it truly is bomb. Also check out the Chef Bay Original Hot Sauce. Growing up in the Midwest, I loved Red Devil hot sauce. So this hot sauce is definitely inspired by them and it's really delicious. So check it out. Um, make sure you guys hit that like button and make sure you guys subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Peace out y'all, bye. Thank you.